Joining me in the Ursa Live studio all the way from Denver, Colorado is Lindsay Rainwater. Lindsay, a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for having me here. So you are a consultant to the fitness industry. That I am. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, I work with businesses across the industry, both in education and equipment, to support their business needs. A lot of strategy work, a lot of helping support the industry at large. You know, according to Ursa, you're a rising star. <laughs> so what inspired you in this industry and actually to start consulting? Yeah, so I feel like I've been in this industry since I was seven years old. I grew up competitive figure skating and worked in health clubs as a teenager and YMCAs and started working in hospitality in my 20s and going to school for hospitality. And I realized I wanted to be a part of the industry professionally. I didn't want to just work in clubs through college. Like I wanted to be a contributing member of the industry. And so over the last, um, gosh, I guess it's seven plus years, I've been doing consulting work, both in education, um, helping provide solutions for business development, strategy work, business systems integration, and really helping support companies and change management. Because changing to support the industry at large is, is hard. There's a lot of moving pieces to that. So who are you really excited to, to hear speak here at Ursa 2017? Oh gosh, so many. I love the keynotes. I love being able to see people that I've never seen before. My good friend Brian O'Rourke is speaking and I love hearing him speak. He's such an inspiration. And so many other really fabulous speakers. So what else do you expect to see here at Ursa? Innovation. 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 I really want to see from a technology standpoint, I'm very interested to see what people are doing with virtual reality, as well as the integration of wearable devices into the experience in clubs. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for those things. Now, in your industry as a consultant, how do you feel Ursa has, has affected your business? Mm, gosh, well, this event that we're here at right now gives me an opportunity every year to come and see people year over year after year and build relationships. I mean, I couldn't get from the front door to through the lobby without seeing people that I haven't gotten a chance to connect with for a year. So I love that we have this place to come once a year to connect with each other and then also see new things to see the showcase of all the things that are going to be impacting the industry at large. That's so vital for us to be, have that on the pulse of our fingertips. Now talking about things affecting our industry at large, we now have this FIT Act mm -hmm. coming about. Yeah. How do you think the act of prevention is actually going to affect your business or the health industry in, in general? Oh, I, exp I think it's, non, it's not measurable. I think that being able to give that many more people access to fitness is a huge part of what's going to allow preventative medicine to be something that is seen. Instead of fixing things when they're broken, helping teach people that they can prevent disease and they can prevent things from happening, that's an education that I think our nation and our world is needing from us and we have the chance to be a part of that. So l let's get down to a little bit of you, Lindsay. Okay. You know, <laughs> you run Lindsay Rainwater LLC, which means you're an <laughs> entrepreneur, and there are plenty of people out there that dream about doing what you do. Mm. So if you could give them any advice, what would you give them? Oh, gosh. Find a good mentor. <laughs> find a good mentor. Find someone that you can help guide you because my experience was in a lot of ways my mentors could see what I was capable of before I realized I was capable of things. And Absolutely. so having somebody in my life that I trusted enough to then take blind risks with and then step out there and go, okay, this is really scary, but here we go. Um, there's really no looking back. And once you really start to sit into your full potential, you realize what you're really capable of. So I think um, time is the enemy in the sense that you have to be patient. I thought probably, I don't know, two or three years ago, no, no, three years ago plus, that I wanted to be doing what I'm doing now. And I know now that I wasn't ready then. And so being able to be patient and be at the place you're at and then find someone to partner with that can help, you know, challenge you and, you know, champion you along the way. And how many times have you been to Ursa, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, God. My first Ursa was 2009. So what does that make? 2006. So six, eight, eight years. Eight, yeah. eight years. Yeah, yeah. And why do you keep coming back? <laughs> I, I can't get enough. <laughs> it's, um, you know, I, these are my people. Like the fitness industry is my family. And so for me, the opportunity to see the people, it would be like not attending a family reunion. You can't not do that. That's true. So, you could be scolded for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big trouble. <laughs> so if you could sum up Ursa in one word, what would it be? Magic. <laughs> oh, I like that. Magic. 
Okay, yes. here at URSA 2017, the magic happens. Here with Lindsay Rainwater. Thanks so much, Lindsay. Thank you. Appreciate it.